Hey guys, this video is about spectral lines. Now, what we're going to be using are these tubes that are filled with gases. Now, I have seven of them here to show you. Now, as we talked, each light has its own discrete fingerprints or discrete lines at specific frequencies. Now, we are going to look at all these lights. They are going to illuminate in this machine right here. And some of them might be different colors, but they're all going to look different. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to put the light on first. Then I'm going to take these glasses right here, which essentially have a prism built into it. So let me take my flashlight on my phone. Okay, we're going to look at it. And then when I put the glasses over the camera, you're going to see something here. You're going to see how the white light is separated into distinct colors. Okay. The Roy G. Bib. It's a visible light that we're seeing. So the glasses have basic prism properties built into it to allow the light to look like that. That's pretty cool. So we're going to look at each of the spectra tubes and we're going to compare them. Now you need to note the colors of these elements as we go. So pay attention. Okay. Now in order to do this, it must be dark in here. <clears throat> so I'm going to uh, shut the lights off. So make sure you pay attention to, to these discrete lines. All right, we are going to start with hydrogen. Okay, so this is what hydrogen looks like. Now, if I take the glasses, which have the prism built into it, let's check out the lines. Okay, look at that. Wow, we have red, yellow. I'm sorry, red, orange, green, blue. To you guys at home, that yellow looks orange, but it's actually orange. So the camera is doing an okay job. All right, so I'm going to read off the colors as I see them. Okay, that's hydrogen. Now. Let's go to helium. Okay, there we go. It's pretty bright. Now let's check out with the prism placed in front of the camera. Holy moly, that looks a lot different than hydrogen. So what we have here is, it's hard to see it, but we have a little red line I'm putting my finger towards the red line. There's a red line right there. See the red line? We have an orange line, green line. Let me see if I can locate it on the camera for you here. Green line is right there. There's the green line. And a purple line. Yeah, the purple line is right there. It's hard to see. It's not coming in too clear. Okay, nice lines in that one. Or we can say violet instead of purple. Okay, next element is neon. We go to Las Vegas, all the signs are going to be bright and filled with a neon gas. And here we go. Wow, look at that. It's pretty bright. It's really bright. Okay, now let's check it out. So I basically see a few different colors. Okay, so here is the lens. So what we're gonna see is 
red lines, a few different shades of red, an orange line, a yellow line, and a green line, and that's it. But they are very bright. Okay. Next one is chlorine. Okay, it's like a dim light, not too bright. Okay, here we go, here's the prism. So we see we have a very bright red line and a very bright blue line. And there's also a hazy orange and green section. Okay, but the red line and the blue line, I can see on the computer that you guys should see those. All right, nice. Okay, next one is argon. Okay. Looks like argon has a lot of lines in there. Argon has red, orange, a very faint yellow, green, question in the blue, I don't necessarily see the blue, very faint blue, almost non-existent, and definitely a violet, okay? Okay, next one is xenon. Okay, xenon. Okay. Wow, a lot of lines. So here, let's put the prism on. Okay, we see lots of lines. I see the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple lines. They're all there. They're just wider lines than the other elements. Okay. Now, save the best for last. You guys go tanning. They might have mercury bulbs. You'd have to check the bulbs. But mercury emits UV light in addition to visible light. So let's check this one out. This one's very neat to look at. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put the glasses over the lens. Wow, this one's definitely different. So I can see we have very faint red, orange, green, blue, and a very super faint violet. Okay. And those are our light tubes.
Now, like I said, that's how we can determine the difference between one element and another is by the frequency of light that is emitted when that element is electrified. And this is definitely a clue to it. All right, guys, we're stopping right there.